Compassion means you deeply care and want to help. When a blind person is to cross the road and appears to need help, you lend a hand. When an old lady is struggling to pick up something heavy, you lend a hand. You see, physical disabilities as such are visible to your naked eyes and it moves you to help them. How about the disabilities that you cannot see? Like compulsiveness, mood disorders, anxiety, depression? Do you have to show compassion? Ah, now I caught you off the grid, isn't it? <laughs> You're not alone. I'm completely with you on this one. Do you have the ability to see it as a disability? Can you feel it? Do you allow yourself a moment to evaluate their inability before making a judgment? Yes. You're likely to be a little more sympathetic to aged people, maybe. But how are you dealing with your spouse, friends, or children in such situation? Wouldn't it be great if you could empathize with these elusive inabilities in others? The good news is that compassion is a powerful interpersonal skill that can be nurtured. You need to consciously exercise this ability. Intentionally slow down to take a breath and respond rather than react. I believe a good place to practice would be at home. Lot of opportunities there. <laughs> and while you put yourself to test, do not forget about self-compassion. Deeply care and help yourself first. This is a prerequisite. Only when you are taken care, you can take care of others. Question for you. What is it that you usually get upset about? Particularly with your loved ones. How about you catch yourself getting irritated and decide not to react but respond with compassion? Let me know how that goes.